C++ functions. A function is a method of combining blocks of code that usually performs one particular task together into one name. This allows programmers to reuse a block of code without having to retype it several times. Previously, you learned that the main function is where all the action begins. Recall that the general syntax of a function is to begin with the return type of the function, followed by the function name, which includes the parameter list in parentheses, followed by the function body, which also includes the return value for the function. Now, let's create a function that calculates the sum of two integers. We'll call this function calculate total. For now, we will use a void return type. This means that we do not expect our function to return a value. Function names follow the same rules as variables. One, function names cannot contain spaces. Two, they must be made up of letters or numbers, and remember that underscores are considered letters in C++. Three, the first character must be a letter, and four, they cannot be words that are reserved for C++ commands. This function does not have any parameters. Since our function would calculate two integers, we need to create variables for those integers. Here, a represents our first value. B represents our second value. Both of our values are integers, so we use the int data type. Let's assign the values 3 and 4 to our variables. Three is assigned to variable A. Four is assigned to variable B. There are two different ways that we can display the sum of these two values. This statement displays the value a plus b.
the value of a is 3 plus the value of b, which is 4. Therefore, the value of a plus b is 7. There are two different ways that we can display the sum of these two values. This statement displays the value a plus b. The value of a is 3 plus the value of b, which is 4. Therefore, a plus b is 7. Of course, NL stands for end of line and causes our program to move to the next line. Here's another way to display the sum of the two values. Before displaying the results, we need a variable that will contain the sum. Here, we assign the value of a plus b to the variable sum. This statement will display the value of sum.